Whoa, that's quick. Hey, welcome to I Golf and I Make Stuff. Got a fun one if you have kids. And if you have those UTV ride-ons, some people give them away, throw them away because things break, the gearing breaks. So today, we have a couple of things. I have files, I'll link it down in the description. Um, to print this, this is the one that goes out typically and we'll get into that. This is the original. Uh, the teeth are all rounded off. It's the one that goes for the 24 volt ride-ons. I think the, um, the UTV and that princess carriage and some of them, they all have this same thing here. So this is gonna be a couple things as far as like printing and then changing out the gearbox. If you don't have a printer, you can buy the gearbox. I think this is 50 bucks and it comes with the motor. So you can just pull the motor out, put the motor in, that's on there, it's a little bit easier and pretty much direct replacement. So I got two of them here, I used to buy them. Uh, I got sick of it, so I designed a 3D print for the only gear that typically likes to go. So we are gonna try that today. Let's get into it. All right, first I did buy some upgraded motors. Um, I'll try to link all this stuff in the description below but these ones are a little bit higher power than what is on it and they just come from ebay uh, they come with a couple different teeth so we'll see which ones work as we go we'll put those on as well let's see let's see. i'm not sure that pretty good rpm now we're going to go into this this is your housing that houses your gear in those those 24 volt ride-ons. I'm just going to swap these directly out. I'm going to put these new motors in. So if you just want to see the gear thing, you can either take the gear, you can skip around. Uh, there's going to be a lot of information in these and I, I skip around all the time. So I am going to put my my mic on and then I'll come back here. All right, so I lied. We were just gonna pop that motor out. So I got the motor out. Uh, they, shoot, they might even be the same, 3000 RPM. I think these are 35 or 37,000. So we are gonna put the new ones in. Um, basically, they're just a direct replacement. Oops. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in. There's teeth in there it lines up with. and. I mean, that's about it for this little part, just changing out those bigger motors. All right, so got the old ones, or new, but old for me, we're gonna put those away, save those for a rainy day. I like to use them for other projects, like uh, put them in 12 volt cars, modify stuff. So these are direct replacement, and we're gonna go Install them. All right, we're in the garage here. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pop this wheel hub off. Unscrew this. We're gonna take this wheel off and get to our gearbox inside. It's rather simple. So I'm just gonna remove this bolt that's here. I'll bring it down. And again, ah, oh, wood ticks. All right. I'm just gonna remove this bolt, pop this off. There's some screws to take out the housing and we'll be back. Okay, bolts off, we're gonna take this off. There's a few screws here. We get those off and then that housing will come off. That is off, there's six screws there. Um, three on top, three on the bottom. That comes off, we got our gear case here. Now it should come out just enough for you to pop this off. It's got some of its wires there. Okay. All right, well that came unplugged, that's fine. I'll have to plug that back in, but I gotta take these off anyway, cause I'm gonna put the new, I gotta make it so I can just quickly attach the new new things to it so 
we're going to take the other one off uh, and then I'll see you guys back in the garage or the in the shop the simulator okay I just wanted to bring you back in real quick like I got the screws out on this other side I just wanted to show you when you're replacing let's say you're not replacing the motors like because when you get when you buy these they do come with motors but you don't need to replace the motors every time might as well keep them uh, then you don't have to do all the soldering and stuff that I'm about to do here. So what you do is when you pop this off, all you're going to do is take these screws. You're going to unscrew the motor and pull this housing out and then grab your new one and put it back and put the, put the motor right back into the, the gearbox here. And then you're good. It's super easy to just change this out. Just pop the motors that come with these, you know, into it. And if you're using my file to recreate the gear that breaks, then, you know, same thing. We'll take this apart and we'll show you that in a minute. But just want to let you know you don't have to take this thing fully apart. We are back. So, need to look at my belly. We got our new gearboxes we're putting in. We got the old ones here. We'll go through those later and I'll show you how to fix that if that's the route you're gonna go with my 3D printed gear. So that'll be later. And I'll probably make a short of that too so you don't have to watch this whole long, long video for no reason. Again, feel free to um, go. Feel free to skip to the parts that you wanna see. We're going to be doing the wiring on these motors now. I got my little things. These are all, these are going to plug right into there and just kind of make it easy. Is there a smaller one? I'll get, get ones that fit. They just plug right on there. Boom, good to go. So that's what we're going to do here. All right, so we got it done up here. Got the wires on there, and these are labeled with red. That you got to remember, otherwise your kid will be doing whipping all sorts of crazy fun stuff. Just tighten that up a little bit, but we go there. Okay, quick little overview of what's going on here. So with these wiring harnesses. I got my battery sitting right here. Um, there's another video of me making the big battery. So I got to fish these wires down through. I want to make sure everything's good. So, so that should be reverse. Yeah. One. Two. All right. So we're going pretty fast. That's it. We got everything right. Now I'm going to, what I got to do is fish these wiring harnesses down through here. This is under the seat of your ride on. Again, if you're doing this, you've probably already seen what's going on. You should know, have a slight clue. I don't think these little clippies were a good idea. I think I might change them out, but we're going to run, run with them now. Fish them through. I'm going to fish them all through. And then we'll put them back together. Okay, so I ended up, uh, you know, any small electronics best friend, I put some hot glue on it because I do want to be able to take this apart later. So these wires here are just hot glued on. They're stuck in there with the pin and then hot glued. So. If 
I need to, I can yank them off. Um, what I'll most likely end up doing if I replace this, just take these two screws out, take the motor out, take this off, replace the um, gears, whatever gears are broken. And we'll get to that in the next part of the video here. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll slap this together, maybe do a little time lapse to show you. Okay, this one doesn't look as bad either, but I am going to replace it, and I'm going to mark down on these boxes what settings I had my printer at so I can maybe update this video and see if these even, you know, work. Um, this is PLA+. Plus. I have a bunch of different materials that we'll try out, so... Part goes in here. Either way. So some of these gearboxes must not be like a hundred percent exactly the same. Because this hole is a lot bigger, but I might have to adjust that but we're gonna run with it for the sake of this video we're not going to be testing the gears in this video just want to show you how to do all of the rest of that see if it's faster huh whoa that's quick Sounds good. That is a 20 amp hour battery. They come with a seven. All right. Yeah.